welcome back to my channel, Jaylee Vlogs. I hope you're having a good morning. Well, a great morning. It is May the 26th and it's currently very early in the morning. I have to come in here to get all my stuff to pack and take home. I haven't gone into the building since March, since all of this went down and I don't know what my room looks like. I have to pack everything up take out the trash, throw everything out. So obviously I look ready for it and it's just way too early for this. Going back into the classroom will be a little difficult for me because um, things just happen so unexpectedly. It's going to be a little emotional because I didn't see March ending the school year. Every year we usually end in like May or June. So it'll be a little difficult to look at the calendar, but just follow me into the school and we'll be packing up together for the summer. So we're going to close out the 2019-2020 school year. Are you ready? Okay guys, so we're ready to go in. I just got my eval back, okay, and just exactly how I remembered my classroom. Everything looking so nice and calm in here. And the first thing you can look at, see that calendar? See that calendar? It says March 9th. And we went towards the 10th. 11, 12, and then that 12th was the last day I was in the classroom. We were supposed to be out on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and, and Monday that week, but then we never came back. And this is how we're ending the school year. Coming in and cleaning out everything. Empty seats everywhere and this was the last story that i read to the class yin shan it's a cinderella story from china it's supposed to introduce the culture to the students bring some diversity into the school let me take you to my desk right here i have the schedule up i'm a very structured person i need the schedule up and we were learning time, so there's the clock. And then the last time students were here, they were giving out free dictionary. So my desk is here and of course, stay humble, work hard and be kind. And I'm kind of a big deal because I have to come back in here and wrap up the stains. Round table. And then this is where I stash my stuff. I like to start my day with like so many different quotes and you see Friday, March 13th, that weekend was still on here. Let's read what it said. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Okay guys, so I'll start with putting all the tables together and making sure there's nothing in the tape in the desk getting all the trash out and just like pushing everything together. Okay, we're getting there. Currently, I'm just moving the table from here over there. So I got the carpet all rolled up. All these tables are really heavy. And it says, great job. And I gave that little sticker out right there. And that's my hand baby. I'm not sure how much longer it'll be, but probably gonna take me about 30 more minutes to move all these tables. Now 
now you get to see what a life of a teacher is like. We basically do everything. Someone forgot their pencil. that I put up last year for the kiddos to learn the math vocabularies. I'm going to climb up these table and take them down. Let's hope I don't trip over anything. It is way too early to do all this. Now, why am I taking all of these down? They need to clean the cabinets and the walls. So they need everything here clear up. And what do I do with all of these signs? I can throw them out or just stash them away for next year. That's what I usually do. When I stash them away for next year, they go in. They don't come out until next year. This whole mess here, I have to throw a lot of things out and just clear this whole cabinet here. This is why I bought in my own big trash bag. Because there's trash everywhere. Okay guys, so partially I cleaned out the bookshelf. I hid all the books into the shelves. So that way they can just clean up the cabinet on top. I found this book that I used to read to my class. It's called White Water. There was segregation back in the day and he just wanted a nice cold sip of water from a fountain that everyone drinks at. I really want to drink some water right now like why did I pick a book called white water to show you guys like seriously I need some water but this book is very good I love it so when we walked in here my room looked a lot different okay all the tables I try to put them over here all right there were a lot of trash on this side here I cleared it out all the desks are here now instead of in the middle. I needed to move it so that the janitor could actually go in and clean up the floor and wax it. I could still have all my decorations on the wall. They won't touch that. And I emptied the shelf here. The next thing I'll do is row up that rug, which I haven't done yet. And I clear out the cabinets here and the round table. The last thing that I'm going to do is my desk. So while I'm cleaning out, you can check out some cool things I stashed in my desk. And you, if you ever wanna know what your third grade teacher keeps, 
behind our desk, keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, one note I wanna share with you guys is this note here that I have on my table every single day. It says, a good teacher can inspire hope, ignite the imagination, and instill a love of learning. Brad Henry. So if you ever need inspiration, and if you're out there and wanting to be a teacher, uh, when I wrap this video up, I will let you know exactly how it feels to be a third grade teacher and if you're ready for this profession or not. It just depends on how much you really want it because it takes a lot. So this is a wish jar and you can see that there's words and letters in there. So I used it the first year I started teaching here. It's pretty fun. Some of my students, um, let's say if they're doing great at an assignment or they're doing something that's good, they're well behaved, then they get to pull out a wish from the wish jar. Since I'm being good today, and I actually came in here to have the room cleaned up, I think I deserve a wish, right? Okay, let's see what I will get from this wish jar. Take home a class game for a night. Now, if you are a third grader, how would you feel about this wish here that's granted to you? You can actually take a class game home for the night. I think that's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's try another wish since I can actually get all the wishes that I want. Assist the custodian. Yay, if I could just get some time out of the class to go and assist the janitor or the custodian, that would be so great. It'd be so fun, it would make my day. So yeah, guys, I am that kind of teacher. I'm pretty, pretty cool with this wish jar. I should really use this wish jar more often. It's pretty cool. Um, one of the wish is, I think, to go take a walk with the principal or I go down and chill with the principal for like 10 minutes even, or like get like extra recess or a freebie from homework. So I do have candies and crayons and all kinds of stuff in my desk. This is like my prize box right here. If you wanna go dig into my prize box, I have colored pencils, mechanical pencils, chocolate, stickers. I think these are tattoos. They're cute. Raisins. Oh gosh, I need to throw all of this stuff out. If it's a snack, like a soldier toy. They can also get a pencil. Great teachers inspire. This was a gift from a parent over Christmas and I thought it's so cute. Look at that. Here, let's go into the drawer. So I clear out all the file folders and as you can see, I'm very girly. I have a mirror here. Don't even bother looking into the mirror right now. I look like a hot mess. Oh my gosh, more work. That needs to go into the trash. So you see all the things that I had on my desk here? They need to clean my desk and kind of like um, polish it over the summer, I believe. So just to clear it out, I put it in here. I still need these stuff, so I'm just going to stash them away. Now this is where I put my prizes and stuff. And um, once I lock it, the kids can't come in but I just put them up here because I need to throw out some of the candies that have been in here for too long. And I don't want it to be infested with any bugs or anything crawling. Okay, there's tissue rows that I need to throw out as well because I haven't given them out this year and I don't want them to sit and go bad. Now, all the pictures that I took down, I put them in here. I store them in here. 
I have more stickers in here. So cute. If a student lost a tooth, get a sticker. And these are not painkillers. I used to take Biotin just in case I don't forget. They're for my hair and nails. But I never really needed them anyway. Yeah. When I went back to Vietnam, I bought this little cute poster of a girl with a bicycle. It just reminds me of my homeland. Okay guys, so as you can see, my room is pretty much cleared out and I am about ready to leave. So before I leave, I will have to turn in my fob and place it in here. Also, here's my little file folder for the year. Um, I just need to sign my evals before I check out for the summer. So it wasn't too bad, right? But it was a lot of moving around and cleaning. I'll go ahead and sign my eval for the year. Let's see what I got for teaching. Zero is failing. One is needs improvement. Two is proficient. And three is distinguished. So at the end of the year, teachers get graded two guys. So from zero to three, I scored a two for a proficient. Yay! Now teachers get graded and scored by the end of the year because it's just telling us what we need to do to improve in all the aspects area of teaching, like planning and preparation, classroom environment, do we have it? Is our instruction on point? Is it get, are the kids getting all the information they needed while they're learning? And are we meeting all of our professional responsibilities? So don't be surprised. There are teachers who have gotten distinguished. And I believe you don't get distinguished until you're like way, way, way older and have way, 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 way more experienced. As for myself, I spent less than five years in the district so I'm still considered a young teacher but I'm already tenured and if you don't know what tenured is it takes you about three years to teach within a district to earn your tenured so tenured is not something that's given it's something that you have to earn and to earn it you have to stay and stick with your job stick with the district that you teach in for at least three years. And I did that. Now that I've signed my eval, we are coming to the end of cleaning out my classroom for the 2019 and 2020 school year. To end the video, I want to give you some tips on becoming a teacher. It's not easy to become a teacher. You have to earn your bachelor degree. And I got mine from Penn State. I love, love my career. I love being a teacher, if you ask me. But it comes with a lot of responsibilities and it takes a person with a big heart to do it. So if your genuine interest is to help people, to help young kids make a difference, then this is definitely a career for you. It's never easy, but by the end of the day, I know that everything I do make a huge difference. So I'm not saying that I'm a perfect teacher. I have my flaws, just like any human. Looking back, I never regret becoming a teacher. I know I complained about cleaning up. I complained about coming in here, getting up early, and you know, some sacrifices you have to make. But by the end of the day, it's your role, it's your job. It's who you are as a person. I feel like I'm brave today for just coming in and doing what I need to do because I know a lot of people out there in the world, they're still doing their jobs. I have to give it to the nurses and the doctors. They're, they're not cleaning out their offices. They're staying in there. They're fighting for us. So I just want to send that message out to them that I greatly appreciate them. I appreciate you guys coming in and cleaning out with me. You made it so much more fun. I get to share 
so a piece of my life with you and an experience that I don't usually share with others that I'm a teacher. I try to keep it as humble as possible. I love you guys and I appreciate you all so much for tuning in to the very end. Even though my videos can get a little choppy and lengthy, I am working on it. I'll see you in my next video.